What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and the day that I come back of course has to be the day that something groundbreaking like this happens and it's groundbreaking to me only because you know at the end of the day here we're talking about my daddy, Daddy Sakurai specifically and he's talking about why Ridley is not being included in Smash Brothers. This article is legit, it's on IGN, this is totally 100% so there's nothing fake here or anything like that. Now I do want to give a shout out to Tom Clayson who actually showed me the article and if you want to get a shout out in the video as well too, definitely throw articles at my forehead until one bounces on me but um yeah man I'm going to go into this with a fresh slate so I didn't read anything in the article yet we're going to go through this together and I'll slowly get my balls ripped in half as I proceed down the web page so I'm <laughs> I'm scared <laughs> I mean he's in the way he's in the game in a good way he's in the game in a really good way I mean he's still somewhat well he's not playable but I mean it's kind of cool to fight on the field with the guy. I mean, it's, it's cool. He, he did a lot of service for Ridley. You can tell that he had like somewhat of a special treatment for him. But he's still not playable. But anyways, um, so let's go into this article right now, actually. IGN. This is 100% legit. And if I'm about to be trolled by IGN, then I don't know what this world is coming to. Then again, you know, 7 out of 8. <laughs> anyway, so, why Ridley is not playable in Smash Brothers? Size is only part of the problem by Jose Ortero. So, Smash Brothers creator Masahiro Sakurai explains why he chose not to make Ridley, the space pirate villain from the Metroid series, a playable fighter in Smash Brothers for Wii U. And if for some reason you have your head up your ass and you don't know who Ridley is, he's the main arch nemesis of Samus Aran, who's in um, Smash Brothers as well too. And Samus is the only character from the Metroid series that's in the game, unless you count her and Zero Suit, who are basically the same person. But I mean, yeah, the, the reason why everyone's losing their shit about it is because, you know, the Samus has not had an antagonist and, you know, Ridley seems like a perfect candidate. Been in every Samus game, I mean, excuse me, been in every Metroid game almost up until now. And um, yeah. Anyways, so. Oh God, I'm scared! <laughs> I'm scared! I don't want to read this! <laughs> oh my God. But you know what? I I'm going to have. I'm going to have some resiliency, man. Let's, let let's go through this, man. All right, so um, here we go. I definitely know that Ridley is a much anticipated name for the fans, but if we made Ridley as a fighter, it wouldn't be Ridley any longer, Sakurai told IGN in an email interview. It would have to be shrunk down, or his wing size reduced, or be unable to fly around freely. Makes sense. Providing accurate portrayals of characters is something that I want to pay ample attention to, he continued. If I don't stick to that thought, then we'd have to lower the quality or break the balance of the game. Something that goes way off spec could break the entire game. He's got a damn good point, you know, and all the characteristics that Ridley brings to the table could be considered game breaking in Smash Brothers. Sakurai instead opted to include Ridley as a stage boss for Pyrosphere, a new arena debuting in the Smash Wii U version. Instead of going through a lot of the very conv convoluted Hocus Pocus to make Ridley a fighter, I figured that it would be better to keep Ridley as he currently is the correct way and to have a truly threatening presence, Sakurai explained. There are other icons too, like Metal Face and the Yellow Devil, who are- Metal Face is actually pretty cool. You know, I don't know if this is just me, I just love how he talks so much shit as he's on the field fucking people up. Hey, hey, time to die! Like, I, I love that. I, I freaking love it. Why are you just screaming that while you're like, it's hilarious, man. I mean, it's so, it's so cliche for a villain to say those things, like time to die while you're like kill, like blasting everyone on the field, but I mean, it's hilarious. Um, there are other icons too, like Metal Face and the Yellow Devil, which help effectively portray each of their world settings. They go a long way towards deepening the game world, and I think it would have been I think it's fun to experiment with. Nintendo announced more than 50 cool things coming to Smash Brothers for Wii U last month, including Mewtwo as a free download for anyone who bought both versions of the game. If you are not caught up with the latest info, no, I'm not checking out <laughs> Then again, I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm, I'm playing around IGN if you managed to watch this video somehow. Anyway, so that was a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Ridley has an explanation now. Sakurai is never going to put him in the game. It's official. And you know, a lot of people guess this as well too because they were saying Sakurai would have to downscale that purple dragon if he wanted to put him in the game. There's no way that he'd be able to fit in all of his glory. And you know what? 
at some point, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I realized this myself. Like I said to myself, there's only one way he's really going to be able to put him in as a playable character, and that is by shrinking the guy. But if you shrink Ridley, he really isn't Ridley anymore. He's not that threatening, you know, murderer that he always has been in all his life. You know, he, if you don't know, he killed Samus' parents. I don't know if that's a spoiler, but I mean, you should know by now if you're watching this video. But anyways, yeah, man, so it's kind of like, you know, Understandable. It's very understandable why he isn't playable because it takes away from the essence that makes him himself. That's why I wasn't too disappointed with the implementation of Ridley as somewhat of a playable boss in Smash Wii U. Simply because he's on the field, he's got moves like a character, he even has a side roll like a character. This guy, he has smash attacks, the little shiny thing that comes out when you like charge up your attack. He's got that! And he has a knockaway animation and dies the same way that a character does if they get pushed into a danger zone. You know what I mean? Not to mention he also has a stock icon. So Sakurai went as far as he could with it. And you know what? I can't even be mad. He did everything he could to make Ridley as implemented as possible. I'm happy with that. Maybe it would have been cool if he had like a boss playable function, but you know what? One step at a time, Ridley is implemented in one of the biggest ways ever in the entire Smash franchise. And I think all the fans of the Metroid series and all the fans who just like Ridley, like me, will be happy with his implementation. I definitely am looking forward to playing with him in Pyrosphere. I hope you guys are too. And um, he's still going to be the threatening bastard that he always is, so hey, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to him, man. I'm, I'm really feeling it! But, alright guys. I'll talk to you in the next video. I really wanted to do this one fast. Now I have a lot more stuff coming up as well too. I spent the last week or two on a secret project that I didn't really want to put out there. Still don't want to put it out there, but don't worry, you'll be seeing a lot more videos from me. And um, for those of you who are curious, I'm still living where I am. I didn't move out yet. You know, that's going to be something that happens a little bit later on. You know, a lot of planning, uh, money management, a credit report. Yeah, I'm, I'm, my, my credit ain't the best, but I'm, I'm going to be trying to figure out how to work past some of these things. So you know what, whatever, we'll move forward in this shit together. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.